Welcome back to ESPN Speed World live coverage of the Tyson Holly Farms 400 from North Wilkesboro Speedway in North Carolina. Being brought to you by Sears Tire and Auto Centers. By the Miller Brewing Company, proud sponsor of the Miller Race Team. We race for beer. And by Firestone, America's Tire since 1900. 367 laps are in the books. You're looking at the leader of the race, Jeff Gordon, car number 24, and he has now begun to pull away from Jeff Burton, who's running second. Let's go to Bill Weber. Well, it's been a good day for these guys down here in Jeff Burton's pit. They had a handling problem. The car was just a little bit loose a couple of stops ago. So when they brought it in, they made an adjustment to try and tighten it up to make the car handle better. It didn't work. In fact, the car got worse. Then they caught the caution, came back in, put the car back to where it was, and they still believe this car will get better as the race goes along. Salusa has lost a little bit of ground, though, to Jeff Hadney in the last few laps. Ned. Yes, he has, and Earnhardt might be gaining on him, as a matter of fact. Never see Dale, third-place car in the three Goodrange Chevrolet. Well, they got 30 laps to go. And there is the fourth-place car of Dale Jarrett. Riding with Dale, there is the interval between first and fifth. Just 4.8 seconds separate the top five. Where is Jerry Labonte? There he is. He's running out of time. And then where's the sixth place car? That would be Rick Mask. Rick, uh, this set of tires don't seem to be running quite as strong for him as we saw earlier today. There he is. Sixth place. He's got a pretty good lead on the, the seventh place car, which is Ricky Rudd. There he is. Mark Mark seems to be closing in on Ricky Rudd. Next car would be that of Rusty Wallace. Number four. Boy, Rusty was so strong there for a while. He could pass anybody and do anything with that car, but has faded every time. Running ninth on the lead lap. And there's Bobby Hamilton, the SPP Pontiac. He ran so strong earlier on. There's Hillen, Darrell Waltrip, and then the 11th place car, Sterling Marley. Michael Waltrip will be the next car on the lead lap, running in 12th position. And there he is. Up on the outside of the eight car, well, maybe the eight car come on the inside of him. <laughs> made the tail. Hutt Strickland is 16th to lap down. Michael Waldrop in 12th. Now we're who's 13th? Bobby Labonte, the Interstate Batteries Chevrolet. 13th spot, still in the lead lap. And finally, the last car on the lead lap is Morgan Shepard in 75. We did have 15 until just a lap ago, and right behind, there's the leader, and right behind him is Kenny Wallace. Kenny just went a lap down. He was, in, he is in 15th place. Gordon in heavy, heavy traffic here now, but he's weaving his way right on through it, and he's put a lap on Morgan Shepard now. Shepard in the 14th position. And Dale Earnhardt has taken second place from Jeff Burton. He sure has. Huh. Jerry Podge? The magic number for Earnhardt was lap 380. David Smith said nobody is better at saving that right rear tire than the guy driving the three. Earnhardt hasn't said a word. The last time he was this quiet, he won the race at Atlanta. David said they know that Dale wants the final word on the final race in victory lane from Wilkesboro. He wants it very, very badly. He said with 20 to go, Dale's going to start using that right rear to the best he can to catch the 24. So can Dale Earnhardt catch the leader, Jeff Gordon, in the last 20 laps of the race? Well, we'll take a break and be back to answer that in just a moment. 